Now, with me is Jeremy Badston Carr, an analyst at Charles Stanley Stockbrokers. Jeremy, what's to stop Cadbury remaining independent? Not a lot now. Uh, it doesn't get much better than this, does it? Uh, maintained guidance for 2009, aggressively upgraded guidance for both volumes and margins through to 2013. It does appear very much as if Cadbury is really going all out. And they've, with, said, uh, they've, they've said today that Kraft is trying to get them on the cheap, so they have a point, do they? Well, uh, I think they have had a point all along. I mean, the structure of the craft offer, 60% uh, shares, 40% cash, uh, always looked like it was time to acquire Cadbury very aggressively. Uh, with this defence, uh, if Kraft wants to acquire Cadbury, it's going to have to pay up and have to pay up significantly. Of course, questions of regarding how Cadbury can possibly achieve these extremely ambitious targets remain for another day but there they are there'll be an estimate upgrades one imagines and as things stand one has to say uh, that Cadbury is looking pretty good to hold and it to remain independent aside from being ahead of schedule on its restructuring program um, what else should we be looking at what else um, do they have to impress their shareholders with well uh, of course uh, the other point within the defense document is that all product categories appear to be performing strongly candy chocolate and gum and of course across all geographies as well which is a bit of a surprise because we were anticipating a very strong performance from emerging markets but a slightly weaker performance in western europe and the uk but it would appear not everything is really going full throttle uh, so there aren't very many chinks in the armour at the moment. And, of course, we've got this talk of uh, possible other interested parties, whether that represents some form of trading agreement or whether it's simply strategic stakes to acquire, uh, being acquired to block craft remains very much to be seen. It's a bit of an enigma. Cadbury acknowledged that it has um, uh, had some approaches and been in talks. Do any of the bidders, craft aside, have an edge? Uh, I don't really think so. Nestle can be ruled out, I think, on uh, regulatory grounds, although, of course, if there were to be corporate activity and it remains a, a diminishing if, uh, then, of course, it's only interested in the gum operations. Hershey, I don't think, is really sufficiently, of sufficient size to acquire it. And Ferrero, again, size issues, complex, messy. It looks to me as if Cadbury have probably done enough with this. That leaves a question for Cadbury shareholders as to what they should do. So they'll be thinking about that as the new year comes in. Indeed. Thank you for joining us. Pleasure.